thought they they were incredibly physical. Um, I thought they they persisted with a pretty effective tactic of cross kicking and and having Israel Folau going after them. You know, he didn't get them all, but he got a, a few that that allowed them to get in behind us, and then we were scrambling a little bit. Um, we slipped off a few tackles, um, one early on Curly Beal, where I thought Jacob Stockdale made an unbelievable tackle in the corner on Corabetti. Um, they uh, they probably got a bit of, uh, you know, that they worked pretty hard at the scrum and, and, and got it to turn pretty well. Um, I felt our line out got some really good pressure on them. That was probably uh, a positive for us. Um, you know, and even we got behind them a few times and over kicked probably the ball a couple of times once uh, from from Connor when it went touch and goal and another one from Jacob Stockdale that came off the side of his foot and went straight into touch. Um, you know, I, I think we, we just probably didn't quite hold on to the ball as, as well as we would have liked. There was a lot of pressure at the ruck as well. Um, Pocock obviously uh, put a lot of pressure on and um, he, he always makes a big difference to a team. Um, and, uh, you know, uh, apart from that, as I say, I don't think there was too much between the teams, you know. I think if they maybe asked the other question with CJ, I, I looked like he might have got it down, but uh, at the same time, they uh, they got one pulled back as well when there was a pretty clear uh, player taken out off the ball. So. Um, you know, we just have to dust ourselves off, and it's it's nothing that we didn't expect. They're, they're an unbelievably uh, athletic and talented team. So, um, you know, the last time they played here, as I said during the week, they, they beat the All Blacks. Um, you know, that's that's the level, and, and we've got to be able to compete at that level and and get the the margins to fall our way. Uh, albeit they were they were pretty skinny today. 14 minutes left, I think we led 9-8. Um, but you got to lead um, after 80 minutes. Given that they're in a, an earlier stage of their season, um, you'd imagine their work rate would be at the same level, if not higher, by the time you get to Melbourne. So, what kind of pressure does that put on you, fellas, to come up something different in order to get ahead? Yeah, look. look. We look at it, and we'll we'll be the ones putting pressure on ourselves to to get ahead of, of what we, where we need to be. Um, you know, you know, a week down the line is 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 a long time for a test match, and and, and, and there's a lot of areas that we have to work on. So we go and have a look at it. Um, but as you said, we we need to get ahead of 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 where we are at, and 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 I suppose where 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 they are at, at the moment as well. Straight after the game, roughly sixty percent territory. 60% possession in the second half. So when you came off the field after that, having those advantages, where did you feel that you, you it, it, it slipped away? Um, look, I think Joe's touched on that. I think the one that stood for me is well, the times we had pressure put on them, um, and we just had that release valve of of, of a turnover or or uh, you know a miss breakdown and a, and a turnover. Um, in 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 the rock, and you know you see how dangerous they are on, on break ball, and and how they can strike wide off, off turnover ball, and it's it's difficult then when you're when you're chasing like that. Yeah, I thought he was pretty solid, really. Um, you know, he came off the field at, at nine eight. That's not a bad uh, that's not a bad return for a for a young man who's who's really starting his first big tier one test match. Um, and he, he put a lot of work in into the, his preparation during the week. He'll be disappointed with the goal kick that he that he didn't get because it was it was a reasonably um, you know comfortable angle for him, and and that that could have just given us a little bit more of a of a comfort zone and applied a little bit more pressure to the Wallabies. But um, I, I thought he, his tackle his tackle quality was was good, um, and you know his distribution was generally good. Uh, put a few guys into a little bit of space, uh, missed a couple of passes, just that pressure of time and, and certainly they were giving us as little as possible. They were you know, all over us at times and, and it did make it very hard to, to be able to string too much together. Um, having said that, there, there were some really good line breaks, obviously CJ's one, um, a couple on the edge with Keith Hills getting down the right wing. Um, 
you know, Rob Hearing gets through and tries to offload to Robbie Hinshaw. I think I think Robbie might have e- even got into a bit more space, but uh, lost control of the ball. Um, twice we we knocked the ball on at the ruck. You know, was, there was some real frustration with with the uh, with the hand on the ball, but um, we, we've got to solve that. We've got to make sure that we that we are rock solid with that sort of thing. I don't think we can afford to change um, some of the plans that we've got because um, we now have 11 test matches before the lead into to the World Cup and as much as I'm you know, incredibly frustrated about the four year cycle that everyone talks about, um, we've, we've had a pretty good run um, since the last World Cup, we've kept 33 players. Um, so, you know, we've probably kept the guys that we're, that we're interested in, but we now need to give them opportunity because we can't be caught uh, with guys who, who, who don't have that experience and they haven't been in that, in that really white hot atmosphere that, that playing a, a big team, um, that, that whole furnace that, that occurred tonight with that time and space taken away, how physical it was, you know, Joey went down at one stage because he, he got smashed in a, in a, in a good tackle. But uh, you know the, the skill of the young man; he still got the ball away, and, and and we actually made a bit of progress on the back of it. So, you know, it, th- those sorts of things, uh, I do think, they are things that we that we will persist with because um, we don't have too many windows to do otherwise.